I'd like to introduce the next generation of Apple Watch. Hey guys, ECRG here. Today we're going to be talking about Apple and how they released not only their three new iPhones, but a big refresh to their Apple Watch. This is the fourth series of their Apple Watch. And a lot of you guys have been following the channel for a while, know that I have been talking about Apple coming to the Raleigh-Durham area where they are going to be, I think, uh, partnering with some of the other biotechs in that area and other pharmaceutical companies in that area because the Raleigh-Durham area is a huge hub. And I know I noticed this because they are having a big product push for their health side of the app. They've been building that out more robustly over the past few years. And with the latest update from Apple today with their Apple Watch, I think we're going to see that even more clearly. So Apple is supposed to be building a headquarters in the Raleigh-Durham area, and it is all but signed on the dotted line is what I last heard about that. But... Uh, that's a big, big deal, and I think we see where Apple is going to be heading in the future. They haven't really innovated as much. I mean, they pretty much the other stuff, they've just been making it bigger, brighter screen, uh, better camera quality. But I think the Apple Watch is going to have some big updates, so let's go ahead and get into it. So here they just talk about the iPhones. That's not really what this video is about. iPhone, iPhone, iPhone. You can go check some of the other channels for that. But here they go talking about the Apple Watch Series 4. Now this isn't it, so I don't know why that picture's there, but um, so here's what the article says. Apple also showed off an upgrade to its three-year-old smartwatch. The Apple Watch Series 4 now has a 30% larger edge-to-edge -edge display. With curved corners, it is also slightly thinner, has more reliable reception, and two times faster thanks to a new processor. That's awesome because you know these health apps, they can require a lot of processing power. The dial on the side, called the digital crown, now has haptic feedback to feel vibrations. So that means, you know, you know whenever you turn it, you might feel a little bi vibration in it. That's kind of like back in the, uh, back when you used to text and you used to get a little vibration every time you hit the button uh, on some of the older phones. So that's what haptic feedback means. Um, here's something else interesting. It can help detect uh, when you fall by calculating risk trajectory and other movements and can send that data to an emergency contact. The latest wearable also touts a built-in and FDA-approved EKG to help diagnose heart diseases and other conditions. The company says it's the first EKG available over the counter. So for those of us in clinical research, that's going to ring some bells because, hey, almost every single study has an EKG or there's a need to run an EKG on a patient. And now here's the, here's one uh, that's going to be in the Apple Watch. So we know this this Apple Watch is going to be capable of so much more than what they're revealing right here, right now. And I kind of talked about that in my last video on, on Apple and their clinical trial aspect, how we know they're getting into clinical trials. They've got a whole website dedicated to it. And it's not exactly so visible to everyone out there, but I showed you guys how to get there. But wow, it's got an EKG on it. So that's already one piece of equipment that is in every clinical trial almost uh, that is going to be available in the Apple Watch. So that's awesome. And I think, I think this is much more clearly dictates where Apple is going to be going in the future with their product line. But also it can help, help you uh, find out when you fall. It could relay that information to an emergency contact. So imagine if you have an AE, you fall down and hit your head or something, have a concussion. The Apple Watch is going to be able to detect that. And it's going to automatically alert the site, the study coordinator, the PI know that an AE was happen. happen. Hopefully, you're going to let your CRA know also. So this is clearly going to be the future of clinical trials, devices like the Apple Watch. Who knows what other devices? I mean, so much. if they already have something on there like an EKG, all that's needed is the right apps to come into place where pharmaceutical companies and CROs can develop these apps to help better monitor patients and get and collect much better, cleaner data from the sites wearing these wearables. So let's look out for these wearables in the future to really have a big impact in clinical trials. And I wouldn't be shocked if we start seeing the Apple Watch implemented in clinical trials as early as 2019. I would not uh, be surprised about that. So that's pretty much what I, talk, what I wanted to talk about in 
also this this EKG is FDA approved. So that means this is this is for real. This works. And it's amazing that they were able to get it down into something that small. Um and that just that just goes to show, I mean, they're using big data here, they're using AI, they're using all the future technology to be able to come up with that EKG. I don't know exactly how it works. Hopefully we'll get some videos on that later, how this EKG works. I'll be following up on this story pretty closely. But I'm imagining it's using algorithms and such to come up with the remainder because I'm imagining it's using your pulse and you know who has probably got some other stuff in there too. I don't know exactly, but I'm imagining it's definitely going to be taking looking at your pulse and determining if you had a uh, ischemic heart event or not. So we'll see, guys. Uh, as always, email us, eliteclinicalgroup at gmail.com for any inquiries you may have. If you want your resume reviewed, please email us there also. People have been asking a lot about the resume review program, so keep those inquiries coming. Email, email me there. We'll take care of it for you guys. We'll get you to that next level. Do not be afraid to invest the time and money you need to to get to that next level. All right, guys, take care. Apple Watch Series 4, everything about it has been redesigned and re-engineered. It all starts with a stunning new display. We've pushed the screens right to the edges, and we've curved the corners to perfectly match the shape of the watch. And the screens are significantly larger. In fact, they're over 30% larger. You'll see more in maps and photo and calendar. Now, you can add loved ones to your watch face and simply tap to connect with them. It's made entirely of black ceramic and sapphire crystal. Series four will be available in three aluminum finishes, silver, gold, and space gray. All band colors and band styles fit any generation of Apple Watch. Apple Watch Series 4 with GPS starts at $399. Series 4 with cellular starts at $499. And we're keeping Series 3 in the line at more affordable prices starting at just $279. You can order Series 4 starting Friday, and it will be available the following Friday, September 21st.